Yeah, I thought um, I thought he did a great job of, of uh, really working his fastball today. We talked about that before the game, needing that fastball command. I thought his curveball was good. He didn't overuse it. I thought it, percentage-wise it was actually on the low side of how he used it, but it was effective when he did. He stole strikes. Um, didn't get a lot of swings and misses, but uh, got it when he needed it. But, you know, that team, they came out swinging against him. I mean, look at that, 36 pitches through the first four. I mean, they're putting balls in play. Guys are making plays. You know, then the one and the fifth just kind of got us on our heels a little bit. But um, he made really good good pitches with his fastball all day. Had a little bit of life when he wanted it, but the, it was the movement and location. And he built his game around his fastball and location like he should. You talked about wanting to be more aggressive, I guess, over the last couple of starts. Have you seen that or is it maybe assertive? Or what, how would you kind of turn it? Yeah, apparently the Brewers read that too because they were ready to swing at the first thing he threw. So... Um, you know, I, I think it comes down to, to him. It's the mindset of trusting his stuff a little bit more and not having, you know, not much different than what we've talked about with Luke Weaver, right, where he's always trying to pick those corners. The next thing you know, he's into hitters counts, and the, the at-bats look different when we go into those counts. But I think Adam was trusting his defense, trusting his stuff, and, and you, you do have to have faith in your stuff to, to make those early pitches and realize that they're probably going to be swinging and putting the ball in play um, and trust your defense behind you, and guys make good plays behind him. Yeah, I think just getting us going, just getting it started and uh, getting on, you know, Peralta finding a way to get on base. And then uh, yeah, Gritch comes up with a big hit. And, you know, just one guy right to the next. Colton obviously put together a good at bat in that situation and put a couple balls in the outfield, his first few at bats, and then able to uh, find a hole in the infield. And, and uh, Steven giving us obviously a little bit of breathing room. But, um, you know, just it's our team. You just keep playing. And, uh, it's nice to, to see Adam get rewarded for being able to get through. I mean, that was a that was a tough eighth, and uh, he had his back against the wall, but that's typically when he's his best. And it uh, looks like our offense might be the same same kind of personality. Do you, do you, stay, with, do you stay with him if Ron hits? Probably. Yeah, probably. That's... I mean, look at the damage. He hadn't given up much. You know, you look at the first walk, kind of had antenna up. Um, I was on high alert, so was the bullpen. Uh, we had Bowman ready to go, but when you get your back into a corner, um, you got your ace on the mound, and, and he's still making good pitches. You know, it's his, it's his game, and want him to go out there and get it done. And uh, you know, he answers every time you give him that challenge, and um, it's a, it's a game we want to end up like that for him to figure out how to get it done and then uh, give us a chance to score him some runs and reward him for what he did for us. Earlier this season, you talked a lot about the player you thought Bravo could be. Are you finally seeing that come to fruition a little bit? Um, I think we, the talent-wise, we've seen, and just being able to consistently put it together has been another challenge. And yeah, he's making huge strides in that direction. I mean, what a great throw from the outfield and timely. You know, we needed that play to happen right there. And, um, all the way around, he's he's um, he's doing everything we could ask. He's he looks like a different player, a whole lot like a Colton Wong. Two plus defensive plays today that kept us uh, in a good positive spot in Wayno rolling, and uh, he's just in a, in a good frame of mind. And I'd say Randall's in the same place. Yeah, when we've got um, you know. We've got that little bit of separation between a save. Um, good opportunity for Bowman to get back in there. But he's been a guy that we've used in the back end of the panel. We're not scared to use him there. He's done a, done a real nice job. We've got him a little more rest, and you see his stuff's a little better when he gets that rest. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was taking a, a good at bat. I think he's still thinking of going for gusto, as you said, because I think that's – what I wanted to do, I don't mind him swinging for the downs because he comes up a little short. He's going to get the run in and the run over anyhow. We like the left-handed bat in that particular spot and him to get aggressive on anything that he can get the head out on. And and uh, realize if you have that mindset, you're probably going to have the benefit of, of a couple things having, happening with getting that run in and over. And worked out well. I mean, that's it looks like a small ball, but in fact, you know, I think he's just being up there with an aggressive mindset to get something that he can get the, the get his top hand going and, and uh, figure out how to get a ball to the right side. The whole order. I mean, only had a couple infield hits and one hard hit, and 
Um, he, uh, he had a very good change up today and it, just deception. The guys weren't picking him up and he, he didn't give a whole lot in the middle of the plate. He was very good today. I don't think you could ask anybody to play defensively any better than Colton has. Everything from uh, turns to making the dramatic plays, going in, going back, uh, side to side. He's doing a little bit of everything. And it's nice to see him get rewarded, too, for the work he's put in offensively. He's taking good at-bats. Um, just all, you know, I think he told you all, I think he said the truth. He's having fun. And he's put a focus on um, that's the kind of player he can be when he's out there with a simple mindset of, oh, I'm going to enjoy this and let it all hang out. And that's what he's doing. Yeah, it kind of comes at a good time when he has come back with a good competition between Yeah, our, our competitions against whoever they throw out there every day, and I want the guys to trust that everybody's going to have to play a big role. We want them all hot. We want every single one of them uh, ready to go every night and feel like any one of them could, could be in that lineup and be the right fit. And it's nice to have Colton in that spot, and it'll be nice to have Aledmus back also. Um, but we got, you know, we got to get everybody, everybody rolling. That's kind of been one of the strengths of our club.